Before we jump into today's video, please support my channel by subscribing below. Thank you so much. Traditionally, low initiation rites do not include the circumcision of males or females. Instead, the tribe has alternative rituals that have been handed down for hundreds of years. This include the removal of six lower teeth. Raila Odinga, who is a Luo and idolized as the community's kingpin, has come into conflict with tribal leaders over his intense insistence that Luo men be circumcised. Luo elders view circumcision as an erosion of long-held cultural values. The circumcision drive has been marked as a HIV and AIDS prevention strategy in a region with among the highest rates of HIV AIDS infection in Kenya. According to medical researchers, circumcised men have a significant lower risk of getting HIV AIDS compared to the uncircumcised. It is believed that removal of the foreskin toughens the covering of male genital organs and thus reducing the chances of getting HIV. Luo leaders have dismissed the research and have cited credible reports showing that circumcision has little effect on HIV AIDS transmission. The protests have not stopped the Kenyan government from promoting circumcision among the Luo. The Turkana tribe in Kenya's arid northwest does not practice circumcision, but they have not been targeted by the government's latest health campaign. Supporters of the former prime minister fear that a cultural backlash will emerge among the Luo and that Raila needs to move cautiously over the circumcision issue. Raila's leadership of the Luo is virtually unchallenged, but quite murmurings among Luo elders could just be his undoing. Raila highlighted that he knows the Luo, Turkana, and Teso communities did not have circumcision as their form of initiation. He questioned if it was in order for other communities not to lead because of circumcision. The former prime minister dismissed politicians, stating in rallies that he had not faced the knife so he could not lead. The ODM leader questioned how they confirmed he wasn't circumcised, yet they had not asked him. Raila stated that it was none of their business if he was circumcised or not to be considered for leadership in the country. Moses Kuria drew a lot of criticism after he besieged Mount Kenya's electorate to adhere to an oath that was allegedly administered on them at the late Jomo Kenyatta's Ichaweri home. The lawmaker claimed that during the said oath, members of the Gikui community vowed never to hand over the presidency to a leader whose community does not practice the circumcision right. In an interview with The Standard, Oburo was put to task to explain if himself and his younger brother Raila Odinga are circumcised, a question that prompted a smile from him. According to him, Raila and him believe in circumcision because of the benefits it has in terms of hygiene and the fact that circumcision helps in the fight against HIV AIDS according to scientific research. However, he refused to answer more than that, saying that the rest is a private matter. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. Please do not forget to subscribe below. Thank you so much. Adios.